always be on time. Respect your coaches, your teammates, and the way the game's supposed to be played. And never, ever back down from a challenge. We kind of live by those three things. If we do that, I guess I feel like we're kind of ahead of the game. Uh, from the very first day of spring training, our staff, we strive to create an atmosphere where the players enjoy working hard and they want to do the right thing. You, know, you can have rules out the, you know what, if the players want to do the right thing, we feel like we're ahead of the, or we got a fighting chance. I mean, we're paying these guys an awful lot of money. They have to, the days of Vince Lombardi are over. You can't scare athletes into doing the right thing. They have to want to do the right thing. So we spend a ton of time on having an atmosphere where they really enjoy giving it consistent effort. Uh, it's, we talk about loyalty from the very first day. Uh, it takes time to, to build up loyalty. Shoot, if it didn't, it wouldn't mean anything. So we work on that. I mean, our season is so long. We have 162 games. Can you imagine how many ups and downs, even on a really good team, that is? And that's kind of you know how how we handle frustration. Pretty much defines our season. Are we going to make an excuse every time something goes wrong? Are we going to whine about it, or are we going to fight through it and keep the the lows shorter and the good streaks longer? That's our whole. That's what we try to set out to do. And we'll talk about that the first day. Uh, we also, as a staff, we try to be organized. I feel like even with guys that are making upwards of fifteen, twenty million dollars, if you're organized. They'll do anything you ask, and they'll work hard. The minute they see that we haven't been organized, that we're not prepared, you might as well send them home. And I have a feeling that's probably not just in baseball or athletics, but probably in everyday life also. The other thing that's uh, really, really important, the one thing I'll do before I go to spring training is not just take stock in the team. Yeah, we've, we've spoken about every player, every guy that's coming, every guy that's been here, their weaknesses, their strengths. But I'll take stock of myself. I'll try to be a, a very honest self-evaluator, not let my ego get in the way of what needs to happen. Uh, we try really hard to take what we're doing very serious, but not to take ourselves too serious. We don't have a lot of slogans and things like that, but that's one we try to live by. And we tell our guys, when they have success, to spread the wealth. When you're, when you're a good enough player, you don't need to tell somebody you're good. They'll know it. Give, give, your, give your teammate a little bit of respect. For me, the biggest compliment you can give a player is not that they're the best player on the team, but they're the best teammate. That's by far the biggest compliment. And I think you understand what I mean by that. The guy that cares about his teammates, not the guy that has the highest batting average. The guy that pulls people in a, in a direction that makes them better. That's, that's what we care about. So in just 21 days, 21 short days, we have pitchers and catchers in Fort Myers. On a day like today, that sounds like paradise to me. <laughs> Anything you'd like to talk about, raise your hand, fire your hand up, I'll answer you. If, if I can't answer it honestly, I'll tell you. But Thank if you. I can't, yes, yes, sir. Is Sovereign going to replace the Bank of America Pavilion? <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you have? <laughs> That's as honest as I can be. I've seen some of those contracts. If you want to sign out there, you will wow. <laughs> no, by all means, please, this is the time to ask yes, questions. Yes, sir. Terry, so please go ahead. Raise Terry. your hand and ask a question. Terry, who is the, the best captain you ever played with or um, you ever coached, and what made them the best captain? You know, in baseball, you really don't have a lot of captains. In, in, with the Red Sox, we have Jason Veritek, and in my opinion, because he has that C on his shirt, it doesn't matter because he's our captain anyway. He lives all those things that, you know, the, the, the things I just spoke about. doesn't matter what he has on his jersey. It's not like hockey where, you know, they have to see or in football where the guys walk out before the game. It's kind of rare that you see a captain. I think that the Yankees have Derek Jeter, but you really don't see a lot in baseball. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> significant in our clubhouse, whether he's happy or with what has happened to him. I mean, you got to think, he's a guy that's been a, an all-star time and time again, and he got replaced. Now he's a backup catcher, and all he does is try hard to help our team be really good. That's, I, I love that about him. Yes, yes, sir. You could take one Yankee, who do you think? Oh. 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 You want it? 
seriously, Derek, Derek Jeter. He's, he's, in my opinion, he's a lot of what's right in baseball. When, when we're playing now, and they have so many good players, but the last thing I ever want is to have, have him to have something to do with the outcome of the game. I mean, when, he's, when he's hitting, when he's fielding, he kind of wills himself to make them win, which I respect. I don't like it. It's like, in my opinion, Dustin Pedroia will be that guy here in time. He's the same. He's the same type of guy. When, when Petey walks in the clubhouse every day, it's like the lights get brighter. I mean, we, you know, if, if anybody falls the rest of us, you've heard me talk about him, but I can't tell you how lucky we are to have this kid. I mean, it's not like we're helping him. This kid's coaching us. I mean, he, I've never seen anybody in my life, and I've played with guys, I mean, i played with Robin Youngs, played with, I think, 11 Hall of Famers. And this kid, P. Rose, I mean, this kid gets it. He is the, he's the best. We're so lucky to have him. All the stuff you see, you know, sometimes you see guys get interviewed and everything, and you kind of see what they let you see. This kid, what comes across, that's how he is every day. It's unbelievable. I'm driving here today to do this. He calls. And just to let me know how his workout was. He was all fired up and got a good workout. It's like, hey man, I gotta go talk. <laughs> all time for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, the best thing I can do is what we what I try very hard to do is never be critical in the media. Um, I don't think that works. I think uh, if I have, and every, anybody that's ever been in, in a leadership role, you understand, you're going to have to tell people stuff they don't want to hear. But I don't do that through the media. I'll bring them to my office and sometimes, you know, put it, say what I need to say. But I don't think people like reading about it, you know, that I'm critical. I'll try to, I'd rather take the, the burden myself. You know, in Boston's different than a lot of other places. Some cities, you know, you can go just play the game. In Boston, you're the, you guys are lunatics. <laughs> The game can be so hard, the things on the periphery, the media, the fans. So I try to make it easier for our guys just to play the game. If they're going to yell at somebody, I'd rather be me. In this uh, season, off season, which has been awesome in terms of acquisitions, and I am just fired up for this year, um, which one do you think is, brings the most significant impact to the team coming up in the upcoming season? Which one are you most excited about? Well, it, it, the day we signed Adrian Gonzalez, I thought that was the most. And then three days later, we signed Carl Crawford. I was like, well, that's good, too. <laughs> what, what I found in my, this will be my eighth year here. What I found is if you're short somewhere, it'll catch up with you. You, you know, over a course of 162 games, then you go to the playoffs, you can cover it sometimes, but if you're short, if somebody will say, okay, do you, do you think you need both, what would you rather have, both better starting pitching? You better have both, because if you don't, you're going to lose. And at some point it catches up. You just don't know when. So the additions we had, I, I don't know if I could rank them. I thought we needed them both. And fortunately, we got some bullpen help too. If we don't have a good bullpen, that's the worst thing for a manager. Because the manager walks out, makes the move, and then everything goes to hell. So it was the manager's fault. <laughs> so when you have a good bullpen, it keeps you off the field, and everything kind of goes nice and smooth the way it's supposed to. When we've been good, when we've really been good, Look at our bullpens. We're, we have the best bullpen in the league.